This project started for me about two years ago, this exact same time of year. I always get so inspired and pumped around the holidays that it brings me so much joy and inspiration. Around that time, Paper Mario Origami King had to come out, and I am a massive fan of the Paper Mario series. So I had the question, what if I made my own version of Candy Crush, but it was origami themed? At that point, I had next to no experience with creating art for games, creating UI for games, and as you can see, I've learned quite a lot in that time. I am a professional UX UI designer by trade, but something about game experience and UI is a very different discipline I've learned. So what you are seeing here is the labor of love of my first real video game that I've made. And I think I'm finally ready to release this into the world but I have a few things I need to take care of before I can make that happen. It's always the last 10% of the project that takes the longest because the finish line is so close, so the thoughts of fear and doubt start to close in as well. I have a few UI elements that need to be updated before I can launch this, so I'm taking the time today sitting down and ironing out those last few details. I've had so much fun trying to find paper and craft related UI ideas with this project and I've finally found my groove and I really love turning paper into game elements. Probably one of the most important aspects of making this look realistic are the shadows and the layers so I like to use real life references when I can. Luckily, there's a lot of material online that I can use to reference but it was really important to me that the art and branding came out of my own head. When you're a creative and you work for other people, I think it's really important to have creative projects that are yours. And I hope that this art and experience brings joy to people. And because I want people to enjoy this, it will be free and there will be no ads. And now that I'm wrapping up the game's UI, I think it's time for a little break.
Alright, getting back to my desk. I've been needing to create some cool banners for the Google Play and Apple Store so I can show people what my game is really all about. Any developer can relate, but just when you think your work is done with your game, it's time for more work in the form of packaging it all up. So I'm going to keep it relatively simple, and I might update these and add more later on, but for now I'm pleased with these. I also want to create some stickers that I can give away and put around town, so I'm taking one of my origami cranes, changing up the colors a little bit to fit the colors of my game more, and I'm going to buy about 50 of these from Sticker Mule and have them delivered to my house. I still have one more thing left to do, but I desperately need a coffee break. They say, junk, junk if you're journey. <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I've been needing to take care of is creating the scripts for the push notifications. So let's do a little late night coding and finish these up. I really wanted people to know when their lives would be totally refilled and have a reminder to collect a free daily booster. So it was important for me to figure this out, even though it took me quite a long time. And with that last feature complete, you guys, all that's left to do is sign my apps and get them sent to review on the Google Store and Apple Store. And look at that, it's a whole game. It's such a weird experience to see something you've worked so hard on and have seen all the mistakes look so official. By the time this video launches, Origami Match will be available on both iOS and Android, so I'll put a link in the description if you just want something casual and relaxing to play. Thank you so much for watching, let me know what you want to see next.